Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Today we're talking about the odd job, one of the most interesting tools you might find in an antique toolbox. Let's dive in. Today I have for you the odd job. Uh, this one's actually made by Garrett Wade. There are a few modern manufacturers of it and the original one was made by Stanley. It was the Stanley shop that came up and designed the original one. Stanley listed it in their catalog as replacing 10 tools in one. And then in later catalogs, they had the exact same tool that they listed as replacing 15 tools because they found more uses for it. Stanley never sold a lot of them, but they sold enough to keep selling them. And for the better part of a century, you could find them in every one of their catalogs. The modern person would say, oh, it's basically just a combination square. And yes, it is the precursor to the combination square. This can do a lot of other things. Number one, it's a tri-square. Number two, it can be a miter square. Number three, it can also be a T-square. Number four, it could be an inside corner square. It has this little built-in thing with a point on it, and you can extend that out, and now it's a marking gauge. You can lock it down, and with this on here, we can actually mark out a distance in. It can be a mortise gauge or a depth gauge. Inside it has a fluid bubble, so I can use it as a spirit level, or I could also use it as a plumb level. And along those same lines, I can also use it as a miter level. In the corner here, there's a small point, a dimple that's hidden inside. And with this screw, I can use the adjustment nut on the back of this and advance that point out so that that point is now sticking out. With the point sticking out, I can turn it into a compass. And I can draw arcs to match whatever length I need. Inside here, this is also a scratch-all or a scribe, and I can use this to actually scribe, so I don't even need a pencil. Not to mention, it's a ruler, and if I really want to, I can put a string in the hole, and now it's a plumb bob. It's a fascinating tool with a bit of a mystique around it because it can do all those things, and Stanley made it for so long, but they didn't sell that many of them. And one of the reasons they didn't sell that many of them is it does all of those things, but it just doesn't do them very well. Most of these reference surfaces aren't very long, and there's a little bit of fiddly here, and you end up losing the scribe eventually, and then finding the ruler for it, and... Now, yes, I know it was designed to originally fit the Stanley folding rule, but often the rulers disappeared, and you end up with the body that just is missing the things that make it do what it needs to do. And so most professionals tend to shy away from the tools that can do it all, because if a tool can do it all, then there's probably a tool that can do each individual job better. And you add all that up, and because Stanley didn't sell that many of them, and they often are missing parts, and they're not as common, now they're collectible. And you will find these going for significant prices when they're all there. Now, yes, occasionally you can find one that has all of the parts for around $100, though most often they tend to be around the $200 plus range. And of course, that depends on where you're at. In the Midwest, you're gonna find them far cheaper than that, but out West, they're gonna be far more expensive than that. And if you're in other countries, who knows what you're paying. But a lot of other companies have also made this. This one is actually from Garrett Wade, and they still make them, and you can buy them right now. Woodpeckers makes one that's similar and has a few other updates on it, uh, but they're almost always sold out, and I don't know if they even make them anymore. And on top of that, there's a couple other companies that also make them because there are people that want them, though they don't sell that many because the average person working in their shop would rather have a square, a level, and a marking gauge rather than having it all in one. So I guess if you do have a tight box, it is nice to put one thing in there and have it all together. Even though I have one in my shop, I rarely ever use it. But when I came across this Garrett Wade odd job at a resale, I thought, I want to have it because it's interesting. It's fascinating. It's a little different. And you know what? I kind of like the mythos that kind of goes around with it. Is it a great useful tool? No, but it is a lot of fun. Most of the time, the people who bought these fell into two different categories. Either, number one, they were professional who needed to lug all of their tools with them and they needed something lightweight. And so having this in the box covering so many different things made it easy to haul one tool as opposed to hauling four other tools. Or, number two, and most commonly, they were sold for the homeowner who just wanted to dabble. And yes, there were people like that back then who bought things that I would like to have one thing that can do it all rather than spending my money all over the place. 
And so because of that, you do occasionally find these in some farmer's barn where, yeah, he bought it because he wanted a tool that could do all the things. He wasn't looking for the tool that was the most precise and accurate. He just wanted a tool that could get the job done. And because of that, the odd job has an interesting place in our tool society. So I'd love to hear, do you have one of these? Do you actually use it? Or is it something that's nice and sitting on the shelf, kind of like mine is, waiting for that day where I might make a video about an odd job? Maybe someday I'll actually go get a real Stanley odd job, or maybe someday I'll start using this one. But until then, it's kind of an odd job. So there you have it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you do have them, put them down in the comments down below. Do you have one of them? I'd love to hear about it. Do you use it? Tell me. That does help out the channel. Anytime you comment down there, thank you. Uh, you could be one of those people who just put comment down below. Thank you. That helps us out and gets us in front of more people. And if you want to go even farther and help us out even more, all of these people over here, those are patrons on Patreon. Because without patrons, we wouldn't exist. We are completely sponsored by you. We don't go around looking for other companies wanting us to show their products. We get to talk about the things we want to talk about. So if you like that and would like to find out more about that, then think about becoming a patron or a member. Click the little join button or go down below. You know how that works. We have special perks for both patrons and members, and I think they'll do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. I don't know why, but for some reason, I just want to make a tiny little bowler hat for this thing.